You bought a land somewhere in Lagos in 2018 for 3 million naira. Now you heard that the value of that property is now 18 million naira. So you decided to put it out for sale and use the money to complete a building project or remedy an unforeseen situation. So this land has been out there in the market for one year now and you are not able to sell it. And you are wondering, why are you not able to find a buyer? If you are in a situation like this or you know someone who is or you plan to sell your own land tomorrow, then this video is for you. Welcome back to Montour Properties YouTube channel. My name is Frankilo. I am an investor and lead consultant for Montour Properties and Investments Limited. Today in this video, we will be addressing a common challenge faced by real estate investors, especially in Lagos. Why selling your property in a developing neighborhood like a Bejuleki can be very tough. If you've bought land in such an area in the Bejuleki and you are struggling to find buyers, stick around as we are going to break down the reasons behind this and offer you some strategies that is going to help. First, Let's understand what is actually property appreciation. Property appreciation refers to the increase in the market value of a property over time. This can happen due to various factors which includes demand and supply, inflation, infrastructural development about around that property and also the general market condition. So let us start with you. Yes, you that wants to sell that land now. Why? You may have invested in the Bejuleki in the first place. Because over the last five years, this area has seen significant property appreciation thanks to major projects like the Dangote Refinery, the Lekki Free Trade Zone, the um, Deep Sea Port, Alaro City, the proposed Lekki International Airport and recently the ongoing Lagos Calabar Coastal Road and also the Green Line Rail. With news of these already existing projects and ongoing developments, we have seen that land values have been rising and on paper it looks like investments in this area are, are actually growing. Appreciation in developing areas oftentimes depends on speculations and expectations of future growth. So some investors who bought into these areas may be looking for quick returns and most times they often focus on property appreciation where they can afford to buy low and sell higher. Now imagine the devastating effect if the Lagos State Government decides not to build the Lekki International Airport or they change their plans, what do you think will happen to investments in that area? This is a food for thought. But fortunately, we have seen that the governor himself, Babajide Sonwolu, with his team, has gone to Turkey and discussing with Suma International Construction, a world-renowned airport developers, few days ago discussing how to bring this project to light. The reality of this development will really boost the confidence of investors already and the growth of the neighborhood and Lagos State in general. So, if these big projects or infrastructural developments haven't moved as fast as anticipated, then demand might not be as strong as you expect and this may make it quite hard to find buyers even if that land value has technically gone up. Let's talk about property maturity and why it also matters. Property maturity on the other hand refers to a point at which a property or a neighborhood has fully fully developed. 
in terms of infrastructure, residential or commercial density within that property and the overall livability of that property. And once an area reaches maturity, its property value tends to be stable and the growth in value of that property becomes more gradual. Unlike mature areas such as we have in Lake in Victoria Island, or some part of Lekki Axis, Ikoi, places like Ibejileki are still in developmental stage and they may lack essential infrastructures such as connectivity, transportation hubs, drainages, consistent power supply or even established communities. So for secondary buyers, these factors are deal breakers, a no-no for them. Some of these secondary buyers are actually looking for properties in areas where amenities are already in place and people are living and there are activities around. So in other words, the land in Ibejuleki definitely might have a future potential, but it is not quite livable yet, which may make it harder to sell to these secondary buyers whose only intention is to buy and develop it. Let's look at some specific challenges that you might be facing while trying to sell this landed property. Now we have limited buyer pool. In a developing area, the people who are most interested in buying are usually other long-term investors like you, not end users who are ready to build or live there. So that means you are definitely going to be having fewer people who will be considering your offer. Number two is competition with new listings. Since there are more lands that have been continuously being sold in Ibejuleki, your property might be competing with newer and more attractively priced properties or plots or estate that are also selling. So if your land doesn't stand out in terms of location, in terms of price, or in terms of um, infrastructural assets, then it might be a difficult sale to make. Slow developmental pace. If the big infrastructural projects haven't progressed as quickly as promised, potential buyers may hesitate, fearing that that area might not mature anytime soon. But that does not mean that that environment or that property does not have any future potential value. Here is what we can do to improve your chances of finding a buyer for that your property. And number one is competitive pricing. Since you are willing to sell, you may need to price your land below the market average. It's better to accept a lower profit margin than to let that land sit on the market for a long time. Number two is highlight future potentials of that property. Make sure that these secondary buyers know about the upcoming development in that area. You can mention projects like the Lekki Free Trade Zone, the proposed Lekki International Airport, the planned road expansions or the commercial hubs that could boost future value, especially within the proximity of that land you want to sell. Number three is partner with local real estate agent. You need to work with agents who knows the market trends, especially in these areas and environs where you have your property to sell because they can connect you with serious buyers or even advise you on the best strategy to sell that your land. And number four is flexible payment plan. So instead of asking for outright payments, why don't you offer instrumental options so that this will make it easier and appealing for more wider buyers to take advantage of your property, right? So this is what you can do. Just remember that investing in a development area or in a developing area like Ibejuleki Ebe can be a very smart move, but it requires patience and the right strategy when it comes to selling it to secondary buyers. Because understanding these differences between property appreciation 
or property maturity can actually help you set realistic expectations and also help you make better plans. So, if you find this video helpful, please share, like and subscribe to Motor Properties YouTube channel for more real estate insight. You can also drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future topics. We will see you in our next video. And until then, do take care of yourself.